You can look on the internet. Do we have somebody from Ministry of Trade here? Anybody from the economy side? That Bank of Uganda man is supposed to be bank, to be some economist of some sort. Come and tell us, Bank of Uganda, how much, how many dollars do we spend on clothing each year? Do you do you know or you don't know? Your Excellency, uh, I'm Richard Biarugawa, I'm Head of Finance, and uh, we do import a lot of textile. How much? It's uh, oh, you don't, be a about... Christian. If, be a Christian. If you don't know, don't say. Your Excellency, I, I don't have the figure, but it's in the region of three trillion Uganda shillings. You go and check and come back and tell us. All right, Your Excellency. Ch check on the phone. Uh, and also check, check two figures. Check how much Uganda spends on, clo on clothing, on, on textiles, textiles. And what is the global, the global size of the, of, of, of the, of the textile business in the world? Two, two figures. What Uganda spends on, clo on, 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 on textiles and what is the global size of the textile business so that, you, so that you young people you can know that once i go into this line i am sure of an internal market here i am sure of a regional market i am sure of a global market provided my products are good second need of human is clothing clothing so i'm very glad to see you people struggling with the textiles. I saw some of the young people with textiles, uh, the, 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 the shoes. I'm glad you are now no longer importing shoes. You are making your, your own shoes. The, 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 the blankets, clothing, clothing, clothing. This is the second human need. Then the next is shelter, shelter. And I'm glad some of the young people have woken up they are making construction materials. I saw, I saw there, making building materials. This is a huge area because people cannot live without shelter. Building material for the walls, for the, for the roof, for the support of the, of, of, of the structures and so on. Then health, health, and, and I'm glad some of the young people were involved in the uh, med medical, using the, the traditional uh, hubs to, to there, was, there was one who was ma making anti-eczema. The one who was making anti-eczema from, from uh, Omusa, Omgavu, Albizia. Who is that one? The, the young lady who was making... Uh, and take Zema, uh -huh, come and, uh, and boast on, on the telephone. Your Excellency, my name is Maureen Nice. We made Your name is who? Maureen. Kashija Maureen. Who? Kashija Maureen. Kashija. Yes. That is more understandable. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. We are a cosmetics manufacturing company we make eczema products especially from mugavu you we use mugavu leaves and flowers in vaseline and in soap you make anti-eczema not eczema one yes anti-eczema thank you excellence thank you so this is a huge area thank you so much we call it we call it a pathogenic economy pathogenic economy starting with the vaccines the 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 the, 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 the diagnostics, the disinfectants, the therapeutics—it's a huge, huge, huge business, huge business. 
I think your staff here, your secretariat led by Nyamutoro, they should give you these figures. What is the global business of pharmaceuticals, for instance? How much money? How much money is spent on, on medicines globally? Secondly, how much is Uganda importing in terms of, 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 of medicines? You will see huge, huge, huge opportunity. Then now you come to mobility. Mobility. This, this is the other important human need. People in the past used to walk on foot. Then they started traveling on, on horseback. And now people are moving around in vehicles. That business of vehicles. Yeah. Then security. Security. You remember the original problem of Africa was lagging behind in the technology of security. When we lagged behind on, in gunpowder, that was our biggest mistake. We are now not going to lag behind again. We are making our own weapons and we shall continue improving. So it's, I was happy to see some of you people making some gadgets for, there was somebody who was making a, a communication gadget to communicate in, t in terms of danger. Who, who is that one? Come and, and, and we see you. Somebody was making a, an alarm, something, something. Who was that? What happened to that one who, an alarm, uh, explain what you are making. Appreciate your excellency, it is Yunga, it is a uh, detector that detects the proximity of the thief to your door and alerts you and your neighbors. To, 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 to detect an intruder? Yes, please. Uh, explain how it works. Go ahead. Yunga is simply a digital security platform that connects you with your neighbors. In case of any emergency, you just press a button and help will be coming from your neighbors and also from the police in your community. Very good. Yes. So, that is a whole, a whole area. So, therefore, as you, you are now waking up to use science to solve problems of society, you need to cluster those problems into what? For me, I have tried to cluster them for you here. Food needs, clothing needs, shelter needs, health needs, mobility needs, security needs. You can add on your own list. Uh, ent entertainment, entertainment, that one I have not talked about here. Uh, so that then you, and then you, you, you should check uh, the demand within Uganda, the demand within Africa, because we, we have created for you a common market of Africa. We had to work from 1980 at the, at the Lagos conference our leaders woke up. This had been 20 years since independence. They woke up and said, if we don't create one African market, we shall never get out of, of poverty. 